So I'm wrapping up a mission. I figured I'd do a quick video on this, kind of going over um, challenges. So while you're in the world, you're collecting, you know, these various items. I got like, you know, fuel, old radio, prepped meal, and food canister, food container. Uh, these items you can bring with you. Granted, you didn't, you didn't. Uh, you can bring these items that you find in the match with you after extraction if you brought a custom loadout and not a provided loadout. Uh, provided loadout's good if you are, you know, obviously hurting for cash and uh, need to get some equipment in order to do missions. But you can't bring any of this stuff with, uh, which is fine when you're able to get enough money and you, you know, it's not too hard to make money doing missions. But anyways, all that to say, uh, I'm about ready to extract after planting a bomb for this one mission. I want to show you uh, a way to do some of the challenges. So you have contracts or little kind of like missions, like the main missions that you do. Oh, did it really expire just now oh bad time let's see all right might as well just sit here all right we'll just sit here for a moment uh so you have main missions main contracts jobs you know that's planting the bombs that's planting the bug things that's looking for intel and retrieving it and then you have sort of like challenges and these are where you, the items that you find in the game um in the world this is where these come into play so when you come back to your base you can immediately sell them but the better thing to do is to set your start tracking challenges so when you're selling items and you don't have any challenges tracked no progress will be tracked for those challenges you have to track the challenges in order for the selling of the items to count for that challenge so for instance one common one or two common ones is collecting three prepped meals and three food containers and then selling them to the vendor another one is getting three fuel canisters i think it's three and selling all those another one is getting the old radios the old communicators and i think old flashlights you need two of each of those and then you can sell those um so what i figure is probably a, you know best practice is collecting a lot an assortment of items like for instance i have two challenges being tracked right now both of them for selling fuel to the vendors when i get back into the base and i sell these you know three fuel canisters the two missions the two challenges that i have tracked will both be completed by doing this one task of selling the fuel and then immediately after I have, I think I know I have like three or four, you know, get the packed meal and the food canister. I can grab three of those, track them immediately, run back over, sell these guys. And that's another three challenges completed, um, which, you know, gives you, I believe it gives you reputation with the vendors, which is good. And then it also gives you additional items, sometimes money. Um, I, although I think you can only earn money through doing the main missions. I could be wrong. Um, so that's just sort of a thing we're figuring out. But yeah, so... As soon as we're back in, I'll demonstrate that after turning in the mission, receiving the reward for planting the bomb in the quarry, and then we'll go from there. So we're back in the hideout. Go ahead here. We've completed the mission. We got a reward, so I'll receive that. It goes straight to your stash. And then, oh yeah, so job boards. So you have the contracts, which are the main missions, and then here's the challenges. So you see I have two of them tracked. Both of them are for, oh, I have to sell five fuel? Oh. I don't think I have five fuel. I have four. Yeah, dang. All right, so I can't do that one, but what I can do is I can untrack it and then get the other mission done for the packed mules and the food canisters. So I can show you that real quick. Am I calling it packed mule? Packed meal. I promise I can speak words goodly. All right, so prepped meal, food container, track. That's the that's the communication, uh, communicator, flashlight, and old radio. Fuel, fuel, meal, and then, so we got those three tracked. Run over here. We'll do one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so now we go in here and we should have three missions worth of rewards done. And then we have new challenges. So we got the three meals again, three meals again, fuel, fuel, survive and extract three successfully from a raid. Three what? Three, just survive three times? That might be what that means. I haven't seen that one yet. So yeah. So now we have a bunch of added stuff in our inventories. Uh, usually if it's not something I'm using, I just immediately sell it. May not be the best practice. Uh, what is that good for? Reflex sight? Okay. We got a flashlight. Actually, I got a lot of flashlights. A couple of those don't need, don't need to have 
duplicates of a lot of things, really. I'm not doing a whole lot with all those, which is fine. I'm probably gonna keep the, these guys just because they're cool looking. <laughs> very basic, very simple methodology here. But yeah, so that's uh, that's how you know you can complete challenges pretty awesomely, pretty efficiently. I think it's a matter of collecting as much items as you can, or as many items as you can, and having a nice variety. So, you know, collect your prepped food containers, collect your fuel, collect the old radios when you can, when you have the inventory space for it, because those definitely take up a lot of space. Um, yeah, and turn them in in bulk when you can to just get a ton of attachments and items that could be useful. And then the contracts, obviously, you have these guys, which, you know, they do give you money, they do give you additional items. Um, and you also get, you know, the challenge items sometimes. So you have that going for you as well for completing these as well as, you know, weapons and attachments and other things. So yeah, like for instance, this one, I'll probably do this one next because it's got the food, uh, the packed meal in the food container. I don't think any of these have fuel in them. So any user, hopefully this, uh, is helpful. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I hope to catch you on the next one.